That's a big one. Here's what's new in Git Kraken version 8.0. Teams using Git Kraken no longer have to choose between a Git client or CLI. Each user gets the best of both, creating the ultimate Git workflow. We're introducing the Git Kraken CLI preview, which adds an enhanced terminal experience to Git Kraken. From the toolbar, click the Terminal button to open your current repo in a new terminal tab. This will open the legendary Git Kraken graph, which provides clear context of the repo's commit history. Use the GK program to get auto-suggested commands for interacting with the GK panel. For example, GK panel will toggle the graph on or off, and you can also move the graph to the top, left, right, or bottom. The GK diff command will show the diff for your whip or your head commit. You can also use the auto suggest to select up to two commits for the diff based on the commit message or SHA. The GK history and GK blame commands will open the history and blame panels respectively for the specified file, which you can also filter for by file name using the auto suggest. To return to the graph, use the GK graph command and to dismiss the panel altogether, you may either use the GK graph command one more time or use the GK panel command. The terminal tab also features auto suggest and auto complete for Git commands, including flags for additional customization, saving you the need to memorize commands or look up syntax. When you're inside a repository in the terminal, there's a toolbar above the graph or at the bottom of the window if the graph is hidden, which shows the repo name, current branch, and number of commits ahead or behind. And you can toggle the graph view by clicking on this bar. There are a couple more ways to open a new terminal tab. From the new tab view, click on the new terminal tab button to open a new terminal tab. And if you already have a terminal tab open, you may use the keyboard shortcut command or control T to open another one. If you have a repo open in the GUI, you may now click on the new command palette button to bring up the command palette and use commands like open a new terminal tab or open repo in a terminal tab. And to customize your terminal tab, navigate to preferences terminal to customize the font, font size, and other default settings. Next, you may now share Git Kraken deep links to commits, branches, and tags in specific repositories to jumpstart collaboration. From the left panel, click in the context menu under a branch or tag to get the copy link prompt. You can also get the copy link prompt when you right click on a commit in the graph. This makes it easy to send a Git Kraken deep link to someone over Slack, email, or other communication tools. When someone clicks the deep link, it will open Git Kraken to the target repository, as well as focus the specific commit, branch, or tag assuming the recipient has cloned the repository. Deep links save you from hunting down branches and make reviewing collaborators' changes faster and easier. Jira users may now have stronger integration with Git Kraken using Git integration for Jira. Users with the Git Kraken Jira Cloud integration and a Jira project selected in the left panel will now see a button in file diffs to open the file in Jira. This will open the diff in line within the Git integration for Jira app, where you may link a commit or navigate to the list of commits. Additionally, Git integration for Jira users can now click to open a commit directly in Git Kraken from the Jira issue view, giving you a seamless transition from your Jira issues to Git Kraken. A few more things from the GitHub pull request view. You may now access a quote reply action for your PR comments. Tabs now have a tooltip with the name and path of the repo, along with a new drop-down list for better tab navigation. And finally, the profile menu now shows the organization associated with the current profile. All right, to stay on top of future releases, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Git Kraken YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next release.